Web Graphics Library is a JavaScript API for implementing interactive 2D and 3D vector graphics in the browser. It allows developers to run hardware accelerated graphics with the client's GPU directly inside an HTML canvas without the need for external plugins. It opens the door to 3D web design, interactive games, data viz, physics simulations, and most importantly, beautiful artwork. WebGL is used to render graphics in everyday tools like Google Maps and by the Unity engine to make web-based games. To understand how it works, it helps to first understand basic 3D theory and the rendering pipeline. In a 3D scene, every point is a vertex identified by its X, Y, and Z coordinates. The vertices are then connected together to form a bunch of little triangles known as primitives. Then a light source bounces off of them to create the appearance of shadows and depth perception. They're then rasterized to convert a 3D vector graphic into a projection of a 2D pixel, which tricks our brains into seeing a 3D object on a two-dimensional computer screen. This pipeline can be customized by writing shaders, which are just functions that tell the computer how to draw pixels pixels on the screen. Shading requires the computer to perform a ton of linear algebra or matrix multiplication to render graphics smoothly at 60 FPS. It's often too much for the CPU to handle by itself, which is why we have GPUs to distribute the calculations more efficiently. WebGL allows us to process graphics on the GPU and is based on a library that's been around since 1992 called OpenGL. To get started, you just need to grab an HTML canvas in the DOM, then get its WebGL context to start drawing. The main program code code is written in JavaScript, but shaders are written in the OpenGL ES shading language. A shader will take information about a vertex or fragment and use the GPU to calculate the data required to render it as a pixel on the screen. Luckily, you don't need to write shaders by hand to start adding 3D graphics to your website. You can use libraries like 3JS or tools like Spline to quickly design 3D experiences without much underlying knowledge of WebGL. Stay tuned for a full 3JS tutorial, make sure to hit the like button, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.